Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Minecraft Epic Proportions And today is actually gonna be the finale of the series I know guys it's ending already, but we must end it so we can start season 4 We've done pretty much everything we can in this series Missed maybe a couple really small things, but I hate to drag on the series You know try to do stuff that isn't very exciting anyway That is not what I want to do with the series guys I want to keep it exciting So I think it is time for the next one to come and yeah, guys, this is a perfect chance for you to leave a comment and let me know a mod you'd like to see in the next series. You know, any mod. I will consider them all. I really will. And I'm going to put it into a mod pack once again. But yeah, I brought Bami back here. Right, Bami? Bami is in the throne room. Figured it was the right place. And you're going to be leaving us so soon once again. I feel like this happens every time. At least you'll be alive this time. I'm not letting Bami die, no matter what. It's these pets, you know? <laughs> the pets, when it's like the Iron Golem, the Spider Jockey... Um, or the skeleton, they will all attack mobs they think are hostile, which is bomby, which is what happened last season, which was terrible. Uh, but anyways, what we're going to do today is kind of like explore all our spots, if you know what I mean, like all the spots we've um, conquered, like of course this castle right here. And we're going to fight one final boss as well. And we'll go through the whole fanchion so everyone can see their name who has won in the series. Figured that would be good. And yeah... Fluffy's up here. I swear, there was another sheep here before. I don't know where it went. There was a purple one. I thought Fluffy made a friend, but for some reason, it is gone. <laughs> Why does no one like you, Fluffy? I swear, it was here a minute ago. Right when I went in there, there was a purple sheep, like, talking to Fluffy. It really was. Um, but anyways, I think we're going to fight the boss first. Um, guys, I was looking online. I was like, where can we find the Monk King? And online, it said there actually isn't a spot the Monk King spawns. So, there really isn't a way to fight it. It doesn't spawn in a structure or anything. So what I did is I had to spawn in one boss, guys. I spawned in the Monk King so that we could fight it. I'm not getting anything out of it anyway since, you know, I'm ending the series. So any item I get, I really can't use. So I wouldn't consider it cheating because I get nothing out of it. I actually get injured from it. That's all I get. But, um, and a boss fight for you guys because there is no other way to fight the Monk King and I really want to. So I spawned it down here. I thought this would be a cool spot at the bottom of the Fanchion. The Monk King waits. So yeah, guys, don't be upset because I spawned it in. I had no choice or we wouldn't be able to fight the Monk King because we have to. There's no choice on that. And yeah, um, I've got a diamond sword. This is what I'm going to fight it with because I want kind of a little more of a challenge because if I use um, the dragon sword, it's going to get owned really, really, really bad. Not even funny. So I will use this diamond sword. It has sharpness two and knockback one. Yeah, I guess I'll just jump down and fight it. I was thinking about spawning in like multiple because, you know, it's the final episode and... You know, I can't, like, get anything out of it anyway, but they actually fight each other. They're so evil. Hello, Monk King. This is where the Monk King should spawn. You alright? Do you even see me? What's wrong with it? Alright, there we go. It just needed a punch in the face <laughs> to get it going. Alright, you're on fire, bro. Explode. Oh, God, I didn't even know you threw blocks. I really didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, here we go. Let the battle begin. Me against the Monk King. Oh my god. Luckily, there's a ceiling there. It has 1,500 hit points, which is a ton. So I figured it'd be a great, like, final boss for the series. And pretty exciting. I want to see how high it actually hits me. You can hit me once. Let's just see. Oh god, that is high. But luckily, we have Reyna, you know, which protects us from fall damage, which is extremely useful. Take that. You're going to throw things at me? I'll throw fire at you. That's what happens, bro? But yeah, I didn't want to own it too bad with the other um, weapon. Be a little unfair. There you are. Right behind you, bro. You didn't see it coming. But yeah, guys, after this, what we're going to do is um, we're going to explore, like, all the stuff that we have. And I will show everyone who's been in the Fanchion. In case you missed it, it happens sometimes. I know in, like, every season when I show it, there's always someone that's like, I had no idea I was in the Fanchion. Can you please stop hitting me upstairs for a second here? It's actually a lot harder to avoid his attacks than the Mutant Iron Golems, it seems like. Swings his arms much quicker. I won't let it happen again. But yeah, he's really not that difficult. Doesn't do that much damage. But of course, if I didn't have Reyna, which protects me from fall damage, it would be extremely annoying fighting it. And yeah, guys, I was going off a wiki page saying it didn't spawn. So if I'm wrong, don't blame me. Blame the wiki page. Someone's got to update that. It says it doesn't spawn anywhere. All right, but it is down to 1,000 health and on fire, giant monkey. So scary looking. But yeah, we are taking it down. Final boss of the series. And guys, any suggestions for the next series? Let me know. 
Um, if I had to guess, because a lot of people are probably going to ask this, when will it be up? I'm going to say about a week. That's the time I'm going to give it, because I'm not exactly sure how long it'll take. Um, I need to get permissions to, like, legally put everything into a mod pack, which is probably the hardest thing to do, is get people to agree to let me use it in a mod pack. But we'll see on that. Let me just eat this food. Hello? Are you stuck in there? Get out of there. All right. Oh, God. What is wrong with you? Get out. I'm save your life. Save your life. You okay now? All right, there we go. I saved his life, and he's feeling much better and ready to fight again. I kind of like the fire staff. Big advantage. Yeah, this dude is too big for his own good. He doesn't even know what to do. He gets stuck in his own blocks. All right, he's almost halfway down. Almost got him here. But yeah, sadly, Bommy is going to be leaving us once again. I'll probably install mutant creatures in every series because it's so cool. So if we were to get Bommy again, that would... That may happen. It may. Because Mutant Creatures is at 1.6.4, which is probably what the series is going to be um, at. I'm almost 100% sure on that. As this one was in 1.5.2. Alright, you're really stuck now. Yeah, you're too big. That's probably why they don't have you in any of the structures. Get stuck in everything. My god. Alright, the Monk King is down to 400. Let me just, um, let me just own it. Alright, I'm... How did that miss you? No, it didn't. Gonna get it with the bow now. Alright, let's go. Die, Monk King. My bow is, like, extremely powerful. So we are gonna finish it off. So we can check everything out here. Alright, almost got it. Down to 197, 71, 51, 25. And you are dead and freaking out. And we got the Monk King sword. And yeah, the only way you can consider this cheating is if um, I did it just to get this sword, which... Only thing I'm gonna do with it is just test it once, because really, um, the series is ending. Can I jump up here? No, sadly. All right, so yeah, we're actually at the bottom of this place. We conquered this at the beginning of the series. Really cool place, too. And that's why I used it for the Fanchion. It was, like, perfect. All right, I need to find my way out of here. Oh, I remember having issues. That is, that's another issue. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. All right, so I can jump up here. Please jump up here. Don't do this to me, Pat. All right, there we go. So yeah, oh, these trap things are everywhere. They're so annoying. I hate them so much. So many of them spawned. Like, remember when we went to the end? There was like a thousand of them, which was really strange. I have no idea what was up with that weirdest glitch I've ever seen before. But yeah. Did anyone just hear an explosion? I heard an explosion. I've never heard anything like that before in the series so far. It's actually nighttime. We should probably go to sleep. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. We'll check out the Fanchion after. That's probably the last thing I'm going to do for um, the episode. But yeah, I don't know what that was. Is everything alright up here? Is everything okay? I do have like the meteor shields like around so um the buildings don't get hit by anything. So that should be good. Oh by the way, the Simicraft people are done with the, what they were building. It was like an oasis. So that is done. We'll check it out in the morning. So there's some mobs around to test this weapon out on. So let's actually check it out. Oh god, oh god, that was not good. But yeah, lots of mobs. It seems to do some kind of effect, it almost looks like. It's like a rare spawn over there. Let me... Oh! Shot a fireball at my face. Alright, what are you anyway? I can't even tell. Are you a creeper? Okay, it was a creeper. Since it blew up. It was invisible, I had no idea. Alright, so let me try this again. Yeah, it does like some kind of... Both his arms fell off. <laughs> both of them. It looks like it does some kind of effect, but I'm not really sure exactly how it works. And if I right-click with this, does it do anything? Oh, it does. Okay, Minotaurus, you're going to be perfect for this. So I can, like, hold it back and, like, smack it. And God, it does something to it. All I know is I'm damaging it, but I don't see any effects actually, like, on it. But it definitely looks cool when I'm attacking. All right, Minotaurus. And it seems to have pretty good durability. It's not, like, going down at all. All right, there we go. It's really not that strong, but it has some kind of, like, cool animation to it another minotaurus there i'm just gonna ignore this one and we're gonna go to sleep and check everything out it's like mobs everywhere run run pat it's got slowness on me i can't stand it oh jesus i did not see that coming at all all right switching to something better i'm going to sleep actually all right yeah a lot of mobs around here all right just gonna kill everything with the bone out the bodies are falling apart all right finish everything off there okay we're good don't worry that was crazy. Everything's on fire, too. Oh, my God. Okay. I think we're good. Enough rare spawns for the night. 
Yeah, of course, on the final episode, my bridge burns down. It has to burn down on the final episode, doesn't it? All right, so I'm trying to put out the fires. Got to keep this alive. This is bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> bridge fire! This is terrible. All right, put that out. All right, it's, it's not too bad, guys. Almost got it. All right, are we good? This side? Nope. Oh, man. All right, I see how it is. So I don't even think I can jump that high, can I? Oh, I can, just barely. Okay, so my bridge is broken. Of course it is. Of course it is. But yeah, time to go to sleep. We tested out the weapon. Has some kind of cool effect on it. At least it looks pretty cool when you use it. But yeah, time to explore our world. And yeah, we conquered this place quite a while ago too. I believe it was the necromancer we fought here. And what's even in this chest? Nothing. In this teleporter. It's time to actually like look around now. Oh, this is where the end was, wasn't it? Down there. Very scary. Yeah, it's bad down. Don't go down there. So many traps. I don't even want to go there. Don't want to go there. Oh, man. I hated that place. It was evil. But yeah, in here we have another teleporter and a food chest. A lot of food in here. Yeah, I think this one brings us to the fire demon. So many areas we've been. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we've been to a lot of places. I did so much exploring in this series. And I'm kind of trying to, like, show the areas we've been to that I set up teleporters to. Which was a lot of them, actually. But, yeah, we are heading back. This place is actually really cool. I love better dungeons because of all, like, the, the structures. They are amazing. All right, let's check out our full castle. And then I'm going to go to the Simicrap people. Is Reyna out? Because I, I can't jump. Reyna, where are you? A little confused right now. Let me see. Let me take out the fam guide and um, come back. All right, Reyna, I am putting you back on. For some reason, you're acting weird. Can I jump now? Okay, that was weird. And Fluffy, our pet sheep, has always been on top of the gold, and that is why it is yellow. Interesting. <laughs> and Bami is back once again. We got a lot of cool stuff, like trophies in Twilight Forest. And all these extra blocks made this look so much more awesome, especially with these, like, creeper statues. Definitely. I love this spot. This is one of my favorite rooms, like, ever, I think. Because it just looks so sick with all this stuff here. But, yeah, upstairs, our enchantment room. This should be good for people who, like, haven't seen the series or, you know, seeing the old areas we haven't seen in a very long time. Where does this bring us again? I don't even remember. I think we just went here. This brings us, oh, volcano, was it? The volcano. Yeah, there's a lot of ore I didn't grab, but we really never needed it. Like, I imagine it would take me hours to get all that. So we fought the mutant iron golem. So many good memories here in the series. Really enjoyed this one. There were so many good mods. It was so sick. Yeah, and upstairs, some of the other stuff, like the sun portal right here. And this is where we did all our, like, anvil stuff. If I head in here, will I get stuck inside? I don't think so. There's a portal out. Oh, the reason I'm not going to go in is because the portal, like, gets you stuck under the ground on the way out. It's a little bit glitchy, this mod. So I'm not going to go in that one. I don't feel like getting stuck under the ground right now. And this is where we fought the pirate captain. And I think if I take this red one, so that structure in the air should be right there. Which just leads up forever. It's pretty ridiculous. Definitely some good times, though. And this one is to where we fought the elf hunter. I really like going around and seeing, like, all the spots we've been. All right, so we can leave here. And back here. So many teleporters. They are so... Without teleporters, imagine how hard it would be to actually, like, go around the world. Oh, my God. It would take me forever. It really would. All right, so, yeah, I'm not going to go in there because of um, some issues with it. It's a little bit glitchy. Um, but, yeah, definitely was a cool boss fight there. And, yeah, the area around us... Totally annihilated by meteorites and all kinds of stuff. I didn't even know that was going to happen, so it did. And yeah, big crashes, damaging our buildings. And that's why we had to put up like those uh, meteor shields. Actually, Bami was born like right here. That's where it was. Because I remember the giant hole was right there. And then I blew up the middle. So it was over here. And yeah, we got this battle tower with a giant ship over there. There was just so many cool structures. And I know a lot of people did have trouble running the mod pack because, you know, it's not an easy one to run. With all these structures, like, loading in the world for a lot of people just didn't work. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize for that. Hopefully, the next mod pack will be a little bit easier for everyone to um, try out. 
Because I know like half the people couldn't even play it. But yeah, Simucraft, they built us quite a few cool buildings. Some of these are kind of small though, like this one. There really isn't too much to it. I like the glass ceiling though. This one I think was some type of mansion. Like I can't build these things myself. Like they don't come out as good as if um you know they actually build them for me. And that's why I really like Simucraft. Like a cow lives up here. What are you doing here? You don't live here. And this cool bed too. Looks pretty good. I like this place. I really like this mod, but um it can get a little boring because it's like a lot of time of them just working on building something which takes forever on any cool structures. This is the meat market. Oh, they're shopping at the butchers right now. <laughs> they're actually buying food. That is so cool. And yeah, they have a lot of beef for sale because um they get it from the person who kills the cows, which happens to be a nun. I know, it's weird. It's weird. And there's a bunch of leather in here if I ever needed it. Little cows. And this building got hit by a meteorite, which I fixed. I'm not even sure if it's correct. But I tried. I tried with this one. And that's the poor man's house. Worst house I've ever seen. Worst house ever. Someone literally moved into this. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with their minds. But yeah, the sandstone oasis is now done, guys. We can check it out for the first time. It's actually pretty cool. There's like beds right here, which were broken. I had to fix those. They're facing like, oh, they weren't even facing away. It was like glitch looking. So I just picked them up and put them back down. Um, there's an enchantment table, which is cool. A couple chests. Definitely didn't mean to do that. A couple floating torches. But that's all right. And in here is like the oasis part. Cactuses, water. I think it looks cool though. I like the idea of it. Definitely interesting. And we've also got the movie theater, which took ages to build. And honestly, I think the person who was building it died. This can't be them, can it? Didn't mean to do that. Alyssa? I don't think that was their name. But yeah, they definitely died because I haven't seen them around and I can't hire them. And the building actually isn't done, although it looks really cool. The ceiling isn't done. So yeah, this is... One of the traps got in here. I wonder if that's how they died. That is possible. Get rid of that. Those things are everywhere. Oh my god, they're so annoying. So this is where you buy your ticket. And the screen's right here, but there's no ceiling. It's not done. The projector room is like right over there. But yeah, I figured today we'd just take a look at everything. Because there really isn't too much left to do now that we killed that boss. And yeah, I think, um, oh, you know, we should check out some of those other dimensions really quick. I didn't even know there was a chest over here. Totally missed that. Come on, Chinese dragon. Bring me up there. I don't think I ever noticed this, did I? There's a trap, like, right next to it. Alright, we must check it out. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of that. Bye. And in here! Some iron ingots and redstone I never saw before. They really hid some of these. I gotta say, Better Dungeons does a great job of, like, hiding their stuff. They really do. Alright, let's ride this. Back to the other dimensions. Alright, so there's a couple more we really didn't go into here. A lot of them are from Mists of Rio, and there isn't too much to show, but I'd love to take a little look at it. Alright, so Twilight for the Nether Portal. Is there really anything to look at? Not really, it's the Nether. Everyone's seen the Nether. Twilight Forest. Oh, that's where the purple sheep went. It must have jumped through. I told you there was a purple sheep talking to Fluffy, and it must have been like <laughs> jumping through the portal <laughs> into this dimension. That's pretty funny. Where does this bring us anyway? This brings, oh, we never finished this. Yeah, I never got all the all the wool for the questing. I'll be honest, I never did it. It was a lot of work for something that is really boring to watch, which is him giving me like a block of diamond and emerald, which I even decorated my house with at this point. So as I mentioned, there's a couple small things that I didn't do. One of them is finish giving him his wool. And I didn't want to make the series boring. Like, an e like, do you want an episode of me like getting a couple pieces of wool and giving it to him? I really didn't want to do that. And kept the stuff exciting instead. But yeah, two more portals right here. Both for Miss of Rio. It's a happy dimension right here, sort of. I like the color to it. There isn't too much to it at this point, but there's lots of like snow golems around. I like the colors. And the other dimension is the darkest thing in the world. I know a lot of people are like new subscribers, so you haven't seen any of this stuff. So I thought it'd be good anyway. And this place, darkest place ever. So I put my. Oh! Oh, Jesus, I totally forgot the boss that was glitched. That's where I'm gonna die. Don't kill me right at the end of the series. Gotta make it through the portal. It is so dangerous. All right, yeah, this place was a bad idea to go to. Let's get out of here. There we go. Okay, we're good. Never going in there again. That was scary. 
All right. Um. So, oh, one thing I really did want to show, really wanted to show before we go into the Fanchion. This is where we started the series over here. I made this little shelter the first day. It's really embarrassing. I wonder what's left in it. Yeah, my first bed. Nice ceiling. And some garbage, kind of. I don't know. Some of the stuff's all right. I've got some, like, um, essence and stuff. This is our first day of the series. That was awesome. Oh, God. I cannot stand those things. Please leave me alone. <laughs> those traps are everywhere now. Okay, I'm leaving that. It's time to go to the Fanchion, guys. I put everyone in um, from, you know, when we weren't actually, like, there. You know, sometimes we're far away from our house exploring the world. So we will head into the Fanchion. Is there a door missing? Yeah, there is. I guess a zombie must have knocked this down at some point or something happened to it. Yeah, this place actually has had some accidents. You know, I tried to light it up, but a couple explosions and stuff. So what I'm going to do is go through all these. I'm not going to say the names because it would take me way too long. But people should be able to see their names. Who won? First couple episodes right there. And yeah, all the first ones are like in the main room. And if you're not familiar with the series, I have the Fanchion. That's what this is right here. And what I do is I take random people from the comments, three people each time, and I put them on signs. So some very lucky people are in here right now. And yeah, I have one from every episode, starting at episode two, because the first episode there really wasn't anyone to put in. Because I couldn't choose anyone. All right, nine, up to episode 10 over here. And then I started to kind of run out of room in this area. So yeah, guys, leave a comment if you see your name up here. I know there's quite a few people. And here's up to episode 13. And then it was like, you know, we had to go down into the basement. This is where we fought the Monk King. Let's see. I hope I'm on the right episode here. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. And this place should have a path over there. Probably should. Hold on. Am I missing a... Is that number 15? Let me make sure here. All right. No, we're good. We're good. I think we had like a special day. I don't know if it was like an amount of subscribers, but I put up like 10 people instead. On episode 16 so a lot of people got in on that day and yeah lots and lots of winners and I'm gonna do the same thing next series guys don't worry we'll of course do it again this is kind of like one of those things I like to do to keep my like survival um, unique compared to other people's plus I try to use different mods as well um, but yeah I try to do something to appreciate the fans because of course you guys you know you watch the vids if you weren't here then I would just be talking to myself right now and this would be really really weird it really would be um, but yeah, lots of winners, all the different episodes here. And the series lasted almost 50 episodes, which is pretty good. I think it was about the same as last season. Two people with the same last name on the same day. What is the chance of that? I even asked. They're, they're not family. Just weird right there. Same last name, Felix. All right, up to episode 37. And I actually put up today's winners already, so you're going to see them in like one second. But yeah, these are the winners. Almost there to today, which is 46, I think. All right, today's winners were Alex Black, Jesse Chen, and Android 18, the last people in the series. So congrats to you guys. Um, but yeah, is there anything else for us to see? I don't really think there is, guys. I think this is going to be the end of the series. Oh, I did have an idea. I know last season what I did at the end is I blew everything up. I took TNT and I destroyed every structure, everything. And I was going to do that again. That was going to be my plan for all the ends of all my series. And then... <laughs> I actually got the most dislikes I've ever gotten on a video before when I did that at the end of last season. And a lot of comments of people like yelling at me, why would you blow that up? Apparently, people don't like when you blow up your areas that you like worked hard for. So, decide not to do it this season. I really got the most dislikes I ever got before in a survival video. I got tons. So, yeah, I decided not to do it, guys. I know it was kind of fun, but, you know, a lot of people apparently don't like it. And I try to do stuff you guys enjoy. Apparently, blowing up my world is not one of those things. But yeah, it was definitely fun, guys. I really enjoyed it. And the next series will probably come within a week. So be sure to leave a comment and let me know some mods you'd like to see in it. I'm going to try to shove them all into a mod pack. Um, I'll probably do a tutorial on how to install it once again. Going to use the Technic Launcher, of course, because it's really simple for everybody. And hopefully, in about a week, don't get mad if it takes a little longer. Because sometimes there's incompatibilities. And trying to get permission from some mod creators can be a little bit rough as well. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this series. I had so much fun during it. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in Season 4.